Hey everyone, did you know a simple concept like virtual machine or spinning a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure which is a very simple and day-to-day -day task also involves concepts like networking. Now friends, AZ104 is already at top exams and concepts like networking, subnets, VNet pairing, lot of confusing and overlapping concepts really makes it hard to crack the AZ104. There are so many concepts that you need to understand and master before you can pass the AZ104. So that's why my friends, I have collected some latest and the very important questions on all these concepts. Now friends, in addition to all these concepts that I just listed, there is one more new addition to the concepts and that is Azure Bastion. And most definitely, you will not get any questions on Azure Bastion on the open internet. So that's why I have collected some latest and important questions on Azure Bastion so that you can understand the concept and also crack the questions in the real AZ104 exam. And yes, towards the end of the video, I will take up a question that will help you to understand how to create a site-to-site -site VPN connection in Azure portal. So lot of Microsoft concepts and documentation coming up in this video. So let's get started. So here comes the very first question for today. Question number 146 part 24. And friends, before I even read this question, I just want to remind you that please watch the previous episode, episode number 23. That contains a lot of important questions on the Azure virtual networking concept. We took a lot of questions on VNet pairing. So please watch that video. It's not necessary that you have to watch that video before this one. You can always watch the previous episode after this video. Really important video and many important questions are discussed in that one as well. But for now, let's read this question here. It says that you have an Azure subscription that contains the following fully paired virtual network. Please remember this important point here fully paired virtual network and here we are given with four virtual networks one two three four let's read the details of the same so virtual network one or vnet one is located in west us region and five virtual machines are connected to vnet one then we have vnet two which is located in west us once again and seven virtual machines are connected to vnet two Moving on with the VNet3 which is located in East US region and 10 virtual machines are connected to VNet3. Then we have VNet4 which is located once again in the East US region and we have 4 virtual machines connected to VNet4. Now what you need to do is that you plan to protect all the connected virtual machines by using Azure Bastion. What is the minimum number of Azure Bastion hosts that you must deploy? Your options are 1, option D2, option C3 and option D4. And the correct answer for this question is option A1. So the minimum number of Azure Bastion hosts that you must deploy so that you can protect all the connected virtual machines by using Azure Bastion is one. Now here, as I just mentioned, the keyword or the key point here is the fully paired virtual networks. So it's important to understand in order to protect all the connected virtual machine by using Azure Bastion in a fully paired virtual networks, you only need to deploy one Azure Bastion host and this single Azure Bastion host will provide secure remote access to the virtual machine across all the peered virtual networks. Just to elaborate this even further, had this not been a fully peered network, then in order to protect all the connected virtual machines using Azure Bastion, you would need to deploy at least two Azure Bastion hosts. So one for the West US region and one for the East US region. But that only is needed in case all the networks are not fully paired. But in this question, we can see that all networks are fully paired. That's why only one Azure Bastion host will be required. Now I will take one more question on Azure Bastion and then we will understand this concept a little more detail. So here it comes question number 147. It says that you have an Azure subscription that contains the virtual networks as shown in the following table. Now all the virtual networks are peered. Please mind this. All the virtual networks are peered and each virtual network contains nine virtual machines. Now you need to configure a secure RDP connection to the virtual machine by using Azure Bastion. What is the minimum number of Bastion hosts required? And here in this table, you can see all the details of the virtual network and where are they located. Now the given option for the Azure Bastion hosts required are option A, 1, option B, 5, option C, 7 and option D, 10. And the correct answer for this question is option A as we need one Azure Bastion host because all the virtual networks are paired. 
And as I told you in the previous question as well, in case all the virtual networks are paired, in that case, we can have just one Azure Bastion. Now the Azure Bastion and the VNet pairing can be used together. See, when the VNet pairing is configured, you do not have to deploy the Azure Bastion in each paired virtual network. And this means if you have an Azure Bastion host configured in one virtual network, then it can be used to connect the virtual machines deployed in a peer network without deploying any additional Bastion host. Now let's try to understand what exactly is Azure Bastion. So here you can read that that the Azure Bastion is a fully managed path service that you provision to securely connect to the virtual machine via private IP addresses. And as we saw in the question number 147 as well, that the Azure Bastion secured the RDP and SSH connectivity to all the virtual machines in the virtual network for which it is provisioned. You can also understand all the details here. So here you can see in this image here, we have our users here that are accessing the virtual network through the Azure portal. You can see this blue box here, which is the Azure virtual network. And inside this Azure virtual network, first of all, we have NSG, which is network security group. And inside this network security group, we have this Azure Bastion given here. And this Azure Bastion, so it protects all of your virtual machine by exposing the RDP or SSH port to the outside world while still providing the secure access using RDP or SSH. And besides that, my friends, you can also understand what are the key benefits of the Azure Bastion. We can see that first benefit is RDP and SSH through the Azure portal. We can also understand the session over the TLS and other benefits as well. And not just that, you can understand what are the different SKUs around the Azure Bastion. You can also understand the exact architecture of the same. It's a relatively new concept and many questions these days are coming from this concept. And just to remind you, my friends, in case you're looking for the PDF files for all our question and answer series, both on Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS exams, then you can check out our membership area. You can also access the membership area by using that join button. Moving on with the question number 148, the question is saying that you have an Azure subscription that contains the resources as shown in the following table. So here you can see that we have this table given here. We have name, type and location. First of all, we are given with this virtual network one. Of course, it's a virtual network and the location is East US. Then we have IP1, which is the public IP address and the location is West Europe. And we have this RT1, which is a round table. And this one is located in North Europe. Now you need to create a network interface named NIC1. In which location should you create the NIC1? Option A, East US and North Europe only. Then option B, East US only. Option C, East US, West Europe and North Europe which is basically all the three location. And lastly, option D, East US and West Europe only. And the correct answer for this question is option B, East US only. And this is because you can only create the NRC in a region that has a virtual network. And here you can see the virtual network holds in East US. So that's why option B, East US only is the correct answer. Moving on, question number 149 says that you have two subscriptions named subscription one and subscription two. Now each subscription is associated to a different Azure AD tenant. And then it says that the subscription one contains a virtual network named VNet1 and the VNet1 contains an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that has an IP address space of 10.0.0 slash 16. And then we have subscription two that contains a virtual network named VNet1 and this VNet2 contains an Azure virtual machine named VNet2 that has an IP address space of 10.10.0.0 slash 24. Now you need to connect both these virtual network one to virtual network two. What should you do first? Your options are you have to move the virtual machine one to the subscription two or should you move the virtual network one to subscription two? And then we have option C, modify the IP address space of virtual network two. And lastly, option D, provision virtual network gateways. And the correct answer for this question is option D, provision virtual network gateways. And friends, in these kind of questions, it's really important that you understand what is the overlapping concept. So I discussed this concept in quite some detail in the previous part as well. So please watch the part 24. But just to tell you, if you look at these IP addresses given here, we have 10.0.0.0 and then we also have 10.10.0.0. So here you can see that both these IP addresses 
do not have any overlap and that's the reason you can connect the virtual network 1 to the virtual network 2 and you just need to create a side to side VPN connection between these two virtual networks. And how exactly you do that? Well, the first step to accomplish this is that you have to provision the virtual network gateways and that's exactly the answer for this question. And now comes question number 150, a totally different kind of question format, drag and drop. So let's read the question and understand it better. It says that you have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure virtual network named VNet1 with an IP address space of 10.1.0.0 slash 18 and a subnet which is named sub1 with an IP address space of 10.1.0.0 slash 22. Now you need to connect your on-premises network to Azure by using site-to-site -site VPN which four actions should you perform in the sequence. Now the instruction says to answer the question you have to drag the appropriate item from the left column to the right hand side and each correct match is worth one point. So what exactly you need to do in this question is that you have these four options. You have to drag the correct options here and that too in the right sequence. So what are the options given? Firstly, we have deploy a local network gateway. Then we have deploy a VPN gateway. And thirdly, we have deploy a VPN connection. And lastly, deploy a gateway subnet. Now friend, in the real question in the easy 104, you probably can have more choices given here. And out of those choices, you have to pick only the correct options and that too in the right sequence. So let's arrange them in the correct sequence. Then I will show you the Microsoft documentation around the same. So the first correct option or the first correct option in the correct sequence is first one we have deploy a gateway subnet and then we deploy a VPN gateway post that we will deploy a local network gateway and lastly we will deploy a VPN connection. Now let's validate our answer. So this is the documentation where we can validate our answer. This documentation is all about how to create a site to site VPN connection in the Azure portal. Now actually we can validate the answer just by these options or the headings given here. So first of all, we have create a virtual network. Now, if you remember the question correctly, this option was not present in our question. But as I said, in the real exam, in the real question, you might have more options than the one I presented. So here you can see that first of all, we have to create a virtual network. Then we create a gateway subnet. So this was our option number one. And post that we create a VPN gateway. This was our option number two in the correct sequence. Then we have create a local network gateway option number three. And post that you have to configure your VPN device. So this one was not given in the options I presented in the question. But once again, as I said, you may get some different options in the real question. And then we have to create VPN connection. And that was our option number four in the correct sequence. And of course, using this documentation, you can learn actually how to create virtual networks and all the other steps. And as always, links to all the documentation is given in the description box. So friends, in case you have some more questions that are not clear, concepts that you don't understand and you want me to take up in the upcoming or subsequent parts, do let me know in the comment section. In case you want to reach me out, you can also email me at connectus at the rate the techblackboard.com. And not just that, in case you're looking for the PDF files with all the questions and the answers for various Azure certifications as well as Amazon AWS certifications, then you can also consider joining the membership community or click the join button. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.